Mr. Speaker, Canadians are still waiting for a regulatory framework to combat to climate change. The Clean Air Act was rewritten by the opposition, then dropped by the Conservatives. Eleven independent groups have said that the Conservative plan is destined to fail and that Canada is lagging behind the rest of the world. While we wait for President Obama's visit, how can we negotiate with the United States on climate change if we have nothing to bring to the table? The Right Honourable Prime Minister, Mr Speaker, it's quite the opposite in fact and I'd like to add to my previous response that the targets the Obama administration is uh, looking at in terms of climate change are very close to the targets of this government. They are certainly not, Mr. Speaker, the completely unrealistic targets of the opposition. And, Mr. Speaker, the position of the opposition parties that only some emitters should reduce their emissions and not all emitters is unacceptable to this government, and I think it's also unacceptable to the government of the United States. The uh, Honourable Member... the Honourable Member for Ottawa South. Mr. Speaker, the Conservatives' climate change story has gone from made in Canada to delayed in Canada to made in the USA. Canada's scrambling to catch up, lurching from ice flow to ice flow without credibility and without a plan. When President Obama says cap and trade, he means cap, as in hard cap, not intensity-based targets. When he says trade, he means trading that's in line with the European Union and, of course, the United Nations. Right. Why doesn't the minister simply admit that he's making it up on the fly, he's in no position to cooperate with the United States on climate change, or is he the Minister of the Environment in Prime Minister Obama's country? Ah. <laughs> the uh, Honourable Minister of the Environment. Well, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, the targets with, that we've spoken of uh, are very clear, but I would say that the Honourable Member opposite uh, is making, uh, making fairly extreme statements, both in the House and elsewhere, about this particular matter. He's referred to the Eco Trust Funds, for example, as including the ones that went to the Government of Ontario as eco fraud. So I would uh, ask the member here in the House, Mr. Speaker, could he share with the House any specific accusations of fraud that involve the Government of Ontario or any other provincial government, Mr. Speaker? Yeah.